floatridetrailers.com. You're gonna have to get an engineer to explain me how this thing works. Uh, now that I got my eyes on it, that is probably one of the most impressive pieces of equipment I have ever seen. We're gonna be looking at a brand new trailer that has never been seen before, and it's a floating gooseneck, and it's at the NATDA. And this show is not open to anybody that doesn't own a brick and mortar store, but Jacob from Diamond Sea Trailers got us in. And now I'm going to show you this new trailer, but I want to know what you guys think of it. Um, I'm thoroughly surprised how that's going to work. So we're going to sit over here and talk to this guy for just a minute and uh, see what it takes to get him in the yard. You gonna? So you're? I'm Stan, by the way. I'm Rob. Nice Rob? to meet you. I, and where, what dealer are you? Uh, we're Tracks and Trailers in Perry, Georgia. Nice, no. Adam. Nice to meet you. Aaron. Aaron. Nice to meet you. I think you're gonna pick some of these up. Try them out. We're definitely gonna take it back to the office and uh, kick it around and see if this is an avenue we want to explore. Here, here comes the, the. These are the owners right here. Okay. These two guys. Uh, he's the idea guy, and I guess he's the. The better on camera guy, I uh, guess. I don't know. I'm, I'm Stan. Lane English, and I would, uh, I would shake your hand, but some people get offended when I shake their hand. So I, oh, I wanted a hug. Well, actually, no, I'm kidding. <laughs> yeah. um, okay, Lane, is this your idea? This is my idea. Yes, yes. Okay, so these are dealers, and we're all looking at this thing. And can you walk us through this thing? Sure. Um, uh, let me start with the background of why we came up with this trailer. Uh, we're row crop farmers and, and we've always had trailers, gooseneck trailers. And you know, gooseneck trailers are, are a tool that you gotta have. Some things are too big for a semi, some things you can't fit in the back of a pickup, so we've always had goosenecks. The problem we have uh, going down highways and backcountry roads and farm roads and things like that, over time, the structural integrity of our fixed neck trailers, they were tearing up. Not the first day, not the first month, but sometimes, depending on who was driving it, in three to six or nine months we were tearing up a brand new trailer all right i'm going to jump in here because i'm going to rely on some of you guys that have experience pulling goosenecks trailers does what he just said sound accurate i don't pull one but i've done a little bit of research on them and found out that those trailers suffer from a lot of stress fractures between when the hitch hits the the, the solid hitch hits the solid plate receiver in the bed it takes a lot of abuse on the trailer and the truck that's pulling it, but you guys that pull these things for a living know better, so let me know. So um, we weld them up, keep going, but it got to where nobody wanted to pull the fixed neck trailer. It just was, they didn't want to do it. They'd, do, they'd go dig a ditch before they, would, you know, it was just brutal. So long story short, okay, I gotta go find a trailer that can dissipate shock energy, the transfer of shock energy between the truck and the trailer. And there wasn't one. And I'm like, you know, I think there, I think there's value there. If someone could come up with something that could dissipate the energy between the truck and the trailer. And over the years, I have seen some plugins um, that have come out and they're, they're ingenious. The, 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 and I think they're a great thing because it's, you know, you buy it for a, a minimum amount, you plug it and you go. Our problem with them that we've tested is the last point you want to dissipate shock energy in our studies is at the point of attachment. You do not, that's a no-no. Okay, I'm going to jump in here because what he's referring to is called the shocker hitch. And it was developed by a guy that's now nicknamed Shocker Bob. And what it is is an airbag that goes directly between the coupler on the trailer and the receiver in the truck. Typically, this is metal on metal and there's no give in it. What Shocker Bob has done is he's created an airbag that rides between them and pushes the whole trailer on an airbag. And hey, while I got your attention, if you enjoy videos like this and you find them helpful, hit that thumbs up button. It goes a long way. And please follow along for more videos coming down the pipeline. In our opinion, um, so what we found was we needed to dissipate the shock energy between the drive axle and the trailer axle. Every trailer has a load line. It goes your two I-beams over your uh, axles, down your trailer, up your risers, and down to the V on a traditional fixed neck, down the V, down to the coupler, to the truck. So what happens when you hit a bump in a fixed neck? The truck hits the bump. It dissipates as much shock energy as it can throughout the truck, plus your neck, your body, and your internal organs. But it can't handle all of it. 
all the components can't handle it, so it, it, it sends it right back in the blink of an eye back to the trailer. About the time it sends it to the trailer, the truck just pulled the trailer over the same bump. This all happens in a matter of a half a second to a second and a half, depending on how fast you're going. They're dissipating as much shock energy as they can, but they're limited to what they can do because other than the suspension and the air and the tires, everything's fixed. Okay, let's go back to this. This is this is the line that we call impossibly smooth. That's in, on the inset uh, no shaft. So anywhere around here, we call that impossibly smooth. It, it, it's, it's kind of a joke, but it that's what we say where the trailer performs its best. You do not have to let it ride there. This trailer, you can extend the airbags all the way out. What it, you have, the, we give the driver the ability to make his load haul however he wants it to. You can take some of that out right here, right here, and you can get just about almost all of it. So it'll handle a lot of the weight transfer too. It definitely will. And the secret behind this, okay, any trailer has vertical and horizontal energy being transferred all the time. This system, this system takes care of both horizontal and vertical in one motion. And the way it does that, say you've got a load down, going down the road. Let's say you hit a bump. You're running 70 miles an hour down I-85, I-90, I don't care what, I don't know what, whatever you're going, bumpy roads, wherever you go. You hit a bump, this airbag is going to compress right here. So when that compresses, that's, what is that? That's horizontal. You're dissipating horizontal shock energy. But when that compresses, what does the deck do? The deck dives down anywhere from a 32nd of an inch all the way down to a max of four, four inches. So when it does that, now four inches the max, you're never gonna do that. You're, this trailer is designed, it's in full control. Not only is it in full control, it makes your truck 30, 40% more in control. And as we all know on a truck, you know what I mean? Where's most of the braking take place? The front axle? It's gonna take on that lead axle. Now, the, first, the, it's going, the second axle, but on a fixed axle, but on this one, it transfers some of that weight to the front axle, giving you more stopping power. At the same time, when this bag compresses, it pulls the neck down on the, on the ball on the tow vehicle. So when it does that, it's putting more weight on the back axle of the tow vehicle. And the braking, braking is something that we didn't know was going to be a benefit. But we were looking for a smooth ride, and we were looking to not brake trailers, and we did that. If you ever been to railroad tracks with a steep angle of attack, mm -hmm. and you go, the truck goes over, you can hang up. You lay all the time. time. It happens. Okay. And so that's a very, very big concern. You don't know when that train's coming, and it may not come at all. But what you can do, you can get out of the truck, extend your airbags up to eight inches of clearance, get over the railroad tracks, get same thing in a ditch. There's nothing moving. Yeah, I'm gonna air it all the way up and I wanna show you something. You think, well, if you air it all the way up, it's gonna be stiff and rigid like a fixed neck, right? So, this is all you just See, even at this, I can still punch. Look at the bags. So I'm going to go all the way up, and it's the same thing. If you want to clear an obstacle to, to clear your jacks, you can clear your jacks, and then you can come, you can uh, exhaust air if you hang the, at the back end up on, in a ditch and clear a ditch. You cannot hard to stick it. I mean, you can stick it. Don't give me a wrong. So I got a dumb question. There's no dumb question. Can I run my jacks to the ground with my bags all the way extended and just unhook my trailer like this? Well, you have to lock the neck first. Right here. You have to lock the neck first. Your neck, your neck, you have to lock it or your neck will just fall down. Yeah. These, are, these are your neck locks right here. I'll show you how that works. Yeah. But as you can see, we go all the way up to eight inches right here. Look how much, and that jack's down. Imagine how much clearance you would have if the jacks were up. We have the jacks down as for safety feature for our tripod. Um, I went with, you know, I really wish we could have gotten another tow vehicle, another trailer in a parking lot somewhere, and hey, you guys, let's go for a ride. But it, they, it just didn't happen. Then maybe next year. Uh, we have a lot more technology. This is our first new tank. This is our first new tank. Okay, so this bag's fully extended, right? You've got about eight inches here. Now watch. You think you couldn't make it move? You still have that same, that same range of motion. You yeah. still dissipate shock energy. If you want to make it ride like that, you can do it. I don't think it's safe, but you can do it. The trainer's going to handle it. So, well, I cleared the obstacle on the railroad tracks, right? Back to our original subject.
in the, in the same dynamic, dynamic opportunity happens if you can clear the front and you can clear the back. You know, you just exhaust the bags all the way down. Your bearings can go ahead and listen to the All right, guys, we're going to keep going. These guys are going to keep talking. That's pretty cool. They're called float ride trailers. All right, you guys, well, I brought you two brand new trailers in the last two days, and I hope you've enjoyed this little mini series. But there was more from this show. I've also got more from the GIE, and I've got my wife calling me. Um, so if there's anything else you guys want to see from any of the shows, including the National Hardware Show, let me know in the comments down below, and I'll make sure to throw that video up for you. God bless. Go get them, you guys, and thanks for sticking around.